Welcome back! So today on Cooking Grizzly, I decided I want to put out a new series called Online Recipes. And as the title suggests, it's just uh, recipes I find online that seem fun, delicious, and just overall fun. So for my first episode, my first series of this, I'm going to start with something that is very comfortable. It's pasta with roasted garlic and a cherry tomato sauce. Simple as that. Let's get right into it. So here's the rundown of the ingredients that you're going to need for this recipe. To start off, you're going to need three cups of cherry tomatoes, a fourth cup wine. Use dry white wine. It works the best, but use your preference. Next up, you're going to need two tablespoons of olive oil, a pound of pasta. I chose fettuccine because I think it fits best with what I'm doing today. A spoonful of garlic or two garlic cloves, whatever you prefer, or how much ever garlic you want. A fourth cup of parmesan and a package of basil. It's really up to you how much you want to use of this. And then your seasonings of salt and pepper. This is preference. Use the more, use less, don't use them at all. Up to you. So that's what you're going to need. All right, everyone. Here's how we're going to begin. You're going to need to get a frying pan and a pot. Uh, frying pans for basically everything but the noodles and the pot is for the noodles. And you're going to need a strainer. But other than that, that's all you're going to need. Right now, I'm just going to prep work. So portion out the tomatoes, pour out the wine, chop up the basil, portion out the garlic, all that fun stuff. So I'll be right back. Quick tip, a good way to cut up herbs that are just free like, free like this, because I pulled all the leaves off the stems here, is to layer them as best you can from the biggest leaf up to the smallest and just roll. So like a little sushi roll. And then you can chop it up. Easy as that. Alright, now that everything is portioned out, I'm just gonna fill this up with water and get my pasta going. Turn that on high heat. Let's get started here. So, first things first, gonna condition the pan to tablespoons of olive oil. Water's ready to go. So I'm just gonna set the timer for 12 minutes to get these bad boys up to al dente. All right, and while I keep an eye on this, we're gonna start with Everything else. Big, luscious offering of garlic. And cooking garlic, you don't want to put it on too high of a heat because you can burn it really easily. So, again, I only did this for 30 seconds. I'm guesstimating these are washed too, but ah, I said that's good enough. I'm gonna turn the heat up to a medium high and gonna cook these for about four to five minutes until I start seeing them start to burst, and that's when we're gonna start adding on the others, uh, other things. Thank you. 
starting to see some of the tomatoes burst, I'm going to deglaze it with white wine. Now, when you're cooking with white wine, the purpose of it is not to add alcohol to your... Yes. It's not to add alcohol to your um, dish. It's to add flavor. So, you want to make sure when you cook with alcohol or wine that you cook the alcohol percentage out of it. So, we're going to cook until... I'm going to say maybe three to five... Three minutes may even be a little much, but around that ballpark until I start seeing this reduce the liquid about half, and that's when I know it's the alcohol is pretty much gone. All that's left is the lactable tomato and garlic juices. And that is 12 minutes. Again, a dish is only as good as you make it. So adjust it to your taste. And yours. Third time to try. Perfect. Okay, I'm going to take it off. circle here and gonna add the pasta. cheese on top and let's see how it tastes. Okay, add in a little more salt and pepper, see where that takes me. It may just be a little under seasoned, and if anything, I would use butter. I feel if I would have used butter while incorporating the noodles and with the sauce, this, that would have made this dish out of this world. So food for thought, do it next time, or you could try it. Thanks for watching the video. Um, again, if you like what you saw, give me a like, a follow, uh, hit the bell, let you notify when I post more videos. And that's about it. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.